Ming Lava, Genona Me Dewa, Twoya Da Wan Tabare. Hey guys, I'm Dave, and uh, we're in the beautiful city of Yangon, uh, the biggest city in Myanmar. And we're on our way now for uh, about an hour out of Yangon to go to a small village called uh, Lepangon. Uh, I was invited by, by the guys there, they're really good players of Chinlong. So uh, I'm gonna go play Chinlong with them, and uh, it's gonna be fun. Hey guys, we just arrived at the village, and uh, yeah, it was like a good two hours, but it's it's so peaceful here. Uh, it's only like one main road like this, and uh, it's very peaceful. And uh, we're gonna go see our friend Grace. Uh, she invited us in, into her house, and uh, she prepared some uh, um, nice food for us. And after that, we're gonna go play Chinlong. But uh, every time here, every time that we we uh, we come here, we're always very welcomed by the family and the kids, and it's it's so fun too to see everybody here, a lot of good energy, good vibes. He's the future little fighter. You can even do the Likamun. See, like this. I cannot do the Likamun. Soon he will be able to do it, huh, Alex? So behind me you have the boys playing Chin Lon. Uh, that's where uh, that's where they play every day, and they're really good. You can see the plays they do; it's it's amazing. And uh, basically, Chin Lon is uh, it's a traditional uh, sport of you know in Asia and in Myanmar. There's two ways to play. There's the one in circle, where there's not really a winner. It's always it's just a showcase of skills in circle, and uh, the goal is not to drop the ball. Uh, there's also the other one. Um, which were over the net and the goal is to play against a team so that's that's what we're going to play today it's uh, over the net and uh, you can use everything your legs your your body and uh, your head like in this way like the, the art of nine limbs so it's uh it's pretty thin. you see headbutt right there again boom i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to, to compete with them Game with Chinlong. Uh, I, I, I think I'm addicted now. It's like the best. Uh, it's like the best exercise to practice for the two way. You have to kick. You have to headbutt. You see, the ball is like the ball is the ball is like um, like rattan. It's like this very very um, jumpy. So you don't need to hit it too hard. You don't need to hit it too hard to, to make it jump. So we just finished our game of Chin Long and it was hard. It was really hard. The guys were trying to show me how to do like a smash with the kick. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not as easy as it looks. But, uh, and now Grace, thank you so much for the amazing uh, lunch. Uh, every time we come here, she gives us like home, homemade food. Thank you so much. And um, thank you for welcoming us in your village. And let's see. Uh, 
uh, it's crazy that like they're like not even like one year old or two years old and they understand what a headbutt is. It's the Myanmar blood. It's uh, it's like in the, in the culture, they know the headbutt for the chin long, for the lit way. It's so cool. I say hug dog. How do you say headbutt? Gantak. Gantak. I say gantak, and he and he did the headbutt. So I love it. I love it. <laughs> you, you tell that to to any other kids in in, uh, in my country, they cannot do a headbutt at, at this age. See, I love it.